peaches, what's up? So today I just wanted to do a quick little video. Um, you can see me in my mirror back here. My room is kind of a mess and I just got home from work. Um, I'm just working on like cleaning the house and everything today, but I meant to put this video out yesterday and because of life and how my week was last week, I just did not have it up in time. So today I wanted to just sit and kind of casually talk to you guys about something. I did in my giveaway and pick my winner. Her name was Denise Reyes and I have contacted her. She got like right back to me, I think the same day even. Um, and I got her address and I sent her package yesterday. So all that being said, you might be thinking like, then why are you making another video? It's not just like, here's my winner. But the reason I'm doing that is because I had a couple people that were very, very upset with me that they did not win. And I get that it's like frustrating and, you know, disheartening and if you're really like excited for that, that you don't get it or whatever. Um, I told you guys in that video, I never win giveaways, so I feel you on that. But my problem wasn't with people being disappointed. My problem was with people like saying that it was really unfair and I had one person like call me bad names, like really bad names. And just all this kind of ridiculous stuff so if you guys follow me on Twitter you know that I started tweeting like I'm not doing giveaways anymore after this one and all that kind of stuff just because like it's fine I guess to be disappointed and you know even upset that's fine um, but to the point to say that it's like unfair and things like that I spent a lot of money on those things is my first point. My second point is I wanted to sit and talk to you guys about how I picked the winner because I think maybe some people were thinking I just like randomly went through and picked somebody and was like that's my winner and that's not what I did. So I use a random comment picker website. All you do there is you put in the um, websites so like Instagram and YouTube and all of the sites it loads all the comments and then it randomly picks one. So I had literally no part of picking a comment for this. I never do because I think that is unfair. Um, and for it to be unfair, like, I made sure that you guys could enter if you had Twitter, if you didn't, if you had Instagram, if you didn't, if you had Snapchat, if you didn't, like, all of these different variables. So, um, I guess it just really hurt my feelings for somebody to say that it wasn't fair after I went through so much effort to make sure you could enter, no matter what media you had, um, that it was international. Like, that was a big deal for me this time. And my winner actually did not live out of the country, but, like, to even have that option was important to me. So anyways, all of this, I guess, is just to say that I don't think that I'll end giveaways. I think now, looking back at it, um and the situation that happened that hurt me so much. I think I'll do more um, because the purpose of my giveaway is to give back, obviously, but to help people that don't have money or can't afford to kind of indulge in themselves and get themselves things that they want and things like that. Um, and I am still that person and I still have that mindset of helping other people and helping them where, you know, it's something that they want or even need or anything like that. But I also just wanted to say that I really appreciate you guys supporting me. I was terrified, honestly, that after this giveaway, like, all of my subscribers and everybody would just kind of disappear, which, um, I don't know if you guys, if you haven't kind of gotten into YouTube, you might not know this, but I have over 3,000 subscribers and I've still never gotten a paycheck from YouTube because it doesn't matter the number, it matters, like, the views. Um, but that's not why I was worried about losing them. I was worried because... A lot of these people that were commenting and things, I commented back and kind of we had this thing going and then I would recognize your name on the next video or my next Instagram post or something like that and I kind of started to feel like I kind of had a friendship with some people and just the thought of everybody leaving over, you know, not winning, I don't know. It just made me stressed and I have lost a good number of followers on all my medias but that is okay um, and I just really appreciate those of you that stayed and that are just faithful subscribers. I know a couple people have been subscribed for years, which is crazy that I've even had a channel for years. So anyways, I know this video is super informal, but I just wanted to sit and talk with you guys. This is something that I really enjoy and I just wanted to say also quickly, I thought I was done, but I'm not, that if I don't upload a video like on the day that I say I'm going to, like a Monday or a Friday or something, it's because nine out of ten times, I won't say always, is because I'm not in the mental place to film a video. Um, and like if something has happened, usually I try to 
pre-record so like I'll film a couple videos in one day and then I'll have an upload for a week or two um, but if I have to film the day over the day before and I don't feel like I'm in the space to do it I just cannot do it I don't feel like that that is genuine and that that's what this needs to be because it starts to not be fun when I feel like I have a deadline I have to do it it doesn't matter if I have time or if I get to sleep tonight because I have to edit instead or all this stuff that is too much to me to think of it like an obligation. I'm fine to think of it like a job, but not an obligation, if that makes any sense. So anyways, this is um, hopefully like just a couple minutes long because I didn't want to make it a super long video. I have a bunch of new videos coming out that I'm so excited for. I have like two or three eye makeup looks that I am just dying over already. So excited. So, me and Dustin are going on a little trip tomorrow. Um, I'm filming this on Tuesday. It will be up on Tuesday. Tomorrow we're going on a trip and I thought about vlogging that. I am still editing the Tybee vlog. For some reason we filmed a little bit with the GoPro and that footage did not want to import on my computer in the editing system like editing. There was all sorts of problems with like getting that situated so it took a while to get all that to where I could actually edit it. So that is going to be on its way soon and I will film tomorrow. I'm not going to say where we're going yet. Um, but I will let you guys know on Instagram and Twitter if you're interested and maybe even Snap Snap. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get going. Um, I hope that you guys don't hate me and that, you know, if you do, that's fine too, I guess. I would rather have like one subscriber that really, really loved me than like four million that hated me. Um, and that's just how it's going to have to be here, I think. Anyways, I will see you guys Friday. Leave me a request that you want to see from my channel down below. Um, quickly, I did talk about doing some fashion on my Instagram, I think, or my Twitter. On my Twitter, I said I might do, like, a outfit of the week video, but also just, like, fashion ideas, and I thought maybe back-to-school outfits would be really, really cool. Um, that's something that's fun for me to think about, because when I was in school, I had a uniform, so I literally could do, like, nothing creative to what I wore. And really quickly, also, before I go, I keep, like, trying to end this and thinking of a new thing I have to say. My next purchase is a new microphone. Um, I don't actually have one at all right now. I'm just using what's on my camera, and sometimes it picks up and it's wonderful. Sometimes if I have my fan going or there's a little bit of a different noise in the background, or I'm just soft-spoken and really quiet and, like... I tend to mumble and look down and all these things. It's hard to hear me. Anyways, I am working on it. It is expensive. I don't have the money for it right now, but when I do get the money for it, that's going to be my next purchase along with some better lighting, um, and then I will be situated really, really good. I hope that you guys like watching this video, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.